So you can export a movie from a matinee actor by going down to this section called movie and then you can set various capture settings, resolution, etc and click capture movie. And what this will do is open a new window in game mode and capture your movie. To quit because it's in game mode you need to press command Q and that will stop the record happening. To find your movie, if you haven't changed the default location, if you just click Capture Movie, it will be inside your project folder, inside the saved folder, and inside the folder that gets created when you export a movie from Matinee. It's called Video Captures. Now, the movies that Matinee exports have no sound. It only exports the vision. And they're generally quite large files because they're uncompressed. So I'm about to just show you a quick and dirty method if you're on the Mac using free software to get a recording of your matinee with vision and sound. Of course you could download any other kind of screen capture technology that's out there and use that. So the first thing you have to do is go to this address and download a plugin called Soundflower. Soundflower just lets you make a screen recording in QuickTime and record with it the audio that's playing back on your computer there are a few steps you need to do inside Unreal Engine 4 to prepare for recording. You want to size your editor viewport to suit your matinee, you want to make sure that your matinee is set to play on level load, you want to build lighting and save all, you definitely want to play your level and make sure everything is looking right, and you should close down as many other applications as possible. So after adjusting your viewport to get your size right, you would want to play your movie and make sure that it looks right and notice the click for mouse control that appears in the top left well because we're going to do a quick and dirty screen record of this viewport window we want to get rid of that so to do that you go into the advanced settings that are here under the play button so you click on that little pop down and you choose advanced settings and then in the section level editor under play where it says play in editor you want to turn off that mouse control label and if you don't want the sounds that play when you start and stop a movie you go to miscellaneous and you turn off enable editor sounds and that will turn off those sounds that happen when you start and stop the movie you should already have done a build and a save and obviously you want to be working at the highest engine scalability settings that your system will allow. So one thing I'm going to just quickly change before I record is I'm going to add some black at the end of my fade because when Unreal Engine 4 goes into game mode straight afterwards it hardly goes to black for very long whatsoever and I'd like a little bit of black at the end of my movie. So to do that I'm going to um, move my final keyframe, so my fade is created here in the fade track underneath my director track and I've got two keyframes to create my fade out, one where it's set to zero which means there'll be no black and the other keyframe is set to one which means it's fully black so that's what's creating the fade. So what I'm going to do is hold down the command key and with that keyframe selected I'm then going to drag it a bit just to move it a bit forward and then I'm going to add another keyframe right at the very end of my fade track and I'm going to set the value of that keyframe to one which is black which just means that between these two keyframes the screen will be completely black. So the first thing you want to do is to you need to go into your system preferences and open the sound preferences. If you've installed Soundflower correctly you then should see Soundflower appearing in your output settings for your sound and the first thing we need to do before we start recording with QuickTime is to set Soundflower as the output and what this will do is reroute the system audio to QuickTime to enable QuickTime to record it when it records the screen. Now once you have Soundflower selected as your output you will no longer be able to hear the sound that's playing back from your matinee so just bear that in mind. When we finish recording we'll need to set 
this setting back to internal speakers to be able to hear our video playback correctly. So you want to open QuickTime Player and choose File, New Screen Recording. Then from this little pop down menu next to the record button you want to make sure you have Soundflower 2 channel selected to match your output settings in your sound preferences. Don't fiddle with this slider here, this is your monitor volume level. And so when you're doing the QuickTime record you won't actually be able to hear the sound on your movie but once you set your sound preferences back you will. So the next thing you want to do is to have Unreal Editor 4 open focus back onto QuickTime Player so that you can click the record button. And what this is going to do is give you the opportunity to draw a rectangle around the portion of the screen that you want to record. So I'm going to press record and then as you can see here it wants me to drag to record part of the screen. So I'm just going to drag to encase my viewport and I know that I had a little bit of black at the top and bottom and it's up to you whether you want to cut a little bit off the edge so you don't see that yellow line but if you have done it incorrectly and you just want to move anything you just have to click on these little grey areas and you can move them. So the next thing you're going to want to do is start recording but before you do so just notice that QuickTime Record puts a little stop button here up in the top menu bar of your screen. Once it is recording, that button will go black and to stop the recording you need to just click that button. So because we're recording the whole of the screen you want to be careful about what you're doing with your mouse because if you put it inside this area it's also going to be recorded. So I'm clicking start recording and once that button goes black I'm clicking play and quickly moving my mouse away so I don't get any rollovers in my screen. Okay, so click stop and you definitely want to save this file as soon as possible because the video file is only saved in temporary memory. So if you get a crash before you've saved it, you're going to lose everything. Once it's saved, we need to just trim the beginning and the end. So to do that, we go to the edit menu and choose trim and scroll till we get to the beginning of our movie. and then click the trim button. Now once you've trimmed it you can save it with the same name so save it over the top of the original record or you could give it a new name and create a new file and keep your original it's up to you. But before you play it back you just want to make sure that you go back into system preferences and reset your sound to be internal speakers. So there you have it a quick and dirty method of recording a matinee movie with sound. Thank you.